okay so uh, this video I'll be demonstrating uh, how you can integrate selenium web driver uh, with your J unit framework and integration to Jenkins for continuous integration so what are the prerequisites uh, that we need to download uh, we need a JDK 1.7 and above uh, version and Eclipse standard and the latest version of uh, Apache Ant and latest version of uh, selenium jars and tomcat uh, we need to install and of course uh, Jenkins uh, latest version we need to download and we need to deploy that in the tomcat web server so what we are assuming we are building a JUnit test uh, inside JUnit framework and we are uh, building an automated uh, test uh, using JUnit uh, framework uh, using selenium uh, web drivers then we are integrating our automated test to CI systems and we are uh, finally generating test reports and I'm doing an analysis on that okay now just uh, start with an Eclipse so um, when you come to an Eclipse uh, what are the uh, initial settings you need to do of course you require the selenium jars and put those into your build path okay so all the selenium jars should reside inside your build path and uh, add your uh, latest uh, JUnit library that is your uh, uh, four dot library in, into your build path uh, which is already there okay so that is the one setting then second settings go to your windows preferences and here you can see the ant home click on the runtime you will see ant home entries and global entries so all the latest ant jar files uh, needs to be updated here okay then once you go to the global entries uh, just uh, see the tools.jar so it will be reside on on your JDK installation folder uh, library folder just just select that okay so once this installation is done prepare uh, some of the tests uh, for uh, your uh, selenium execution so here I have prepared two tests uh, which executes uh, one in Firefox another one is Internet Explorer okay so main idea is to creation of a task I have taken active application for uh, for just a sample thing so uh, just you need to if the application uh, requirement is to just creation of task okay you for you using uh, Firefox and IE browser so for the Firefox and IE browser you can input your login information okay or your debug information okay so like this inside your JUnit test okay so once your JUnit tests are ready okay like this okay so just build using your ant so just export it as a build file yes finish so it will be built right side you can see the Eclipse definitions okay just delete this to make it relevant okay and just save it so here you can see one of the plugins I have installed uh, for uh, ant visualization so this will give you a flowchart flow chart view of your ant task so here you can see uh, left side build how the builds are generated and how the cleanup will app activity will happen then each will be considered as a task what are the tasks are there like uh, JUnit runner and batch runner and create IE task and create ta FF task these are the different tasks that will be generated okay this for visualization understanding better you can uh, uh, install this plugin inside the marketplace of your Eclipse okay so once this is done just right click and run as build second one choose the second option so here you can see the build default so it will call all the cleanup activity and compilation activity so select this as a default and select your uh, uh, whatever the and task like scripts you need to execute the selenium scripts so Firefox and IE finally select your JUnit now you need to change the order 
okay so here the order might get changed so at the end put it the JUnit report initially it will be build default then goes with the uh, Firefox uh, script then executes IE scripts then finally executes the JUnit report okay just run the scripts So here you can see the Firefox uh, 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 script is getting executed. Now the scan the IE script is getting executed. okay so here you can see the build get executed successfully okay so just refresh this project okay go inside your Eclipse you are able to see your uh, generated uh, HTML report files just open with an Eclipse browser okay so this is the JUnit test which are getting executed these reports are inbuilt in JUnit okay you can click on each uh, test and you can class files and understand what's going inside that okay so the, this this is a sample report which is getting created now this is a standard now you want to integrate with the Jenkins for continuous integration okay so when you come to the Jenkins always make sure it is installed on Tomcat okay so uh, initially you can stop the services start the service ok just to make sure everything is updated So you need to deploy your Jenkins war file inside your Tomcat. Okay. So it will restart uh, all your Jenkins and update all the plugins required everything okay so now you are here you can see uh, this is the Jenkins home so there are two places you need to configure go to manage Jenkins configure system so make sure that your JDK latest JDK uh, installed path will be given here should be given here for local if you want to execute from the website you need to make it as install automatically okay make sure your latest ant is downloaded and updated the path here okay okay next apply it save it and come come out of that next go inside your uh, project created okay so go to configure okay so here uh, you can see uh, you need you need to pro provide the and tasks here okay so y these are the scripts which I created either you can give it as a batch runner and make it as a single script and give it as a batch runner or if you want the selection from Jenkins you can give the scripts like this okay so uh, next this is the build file path so if you go here right click so take this path your build file path 
and put it in a Jenkins okay so this is the build step now you need post build action okay so here at the dock round you need to select publish JUnit test result report okay so once the build is done so here you need to provide your hexamal path start hexamal now where do you find this path just go inside your Eclipse there is a JUnit folder is there okay so if you take the properties of that JUnit it comes inside your project path okay so you need to take this path okay so just give JUnit and start at XML these are the XML files which hold the information of your tests okay give this as start at XML use, use your use the regular expression for this okay. next apply and save okay so once the configuration is done you can schedule your build or you can just click on build just to verify it here you can see the build has started just go to your console to verify the output it is started with the uh, ff here you can see the message is displayed if you want to see the browser just click on view the message the browser will get displayed now the first script has executed very fast here you can see the information message coming up okay which we have entered in the script if you want need any information or anything needs to be done you can pop up this information for verification purposes okay so here you can see uh, IE got executed so here this uh, exception it is throwing because I am using 32 bit IE driver inside 64 bit to make the execution more fast okay this is this this is can be neg negligible okay neglected okay so here you can see find other success status now where you have to see the results go back to your project on the right side you can see the trend display okay what is this trend so it this trends displays all your build structure okay so from which build and which build whichever it is failing which test it is failing we have to test count one two so it will display the overall summary features if you want to just see the errors you can see it if you want to see the test you can see like this okay this is the this is one of the features of Jenkins now here you can see the uh, link latest test results okay so click on this here you can see the test executed the JUnit test okay so go inside the root folder okay ff you'll see number what are the number of methods which has executed and what is the information you are passing from your test okay and you can you can write your customized information here also you have history of reports okay that is generated from your project so what are the history of reports that has been executed and which are passed that will be there you will generate a graph for that so this is a very quick setup uh, to use your selenium test okay so and you can uh, report the results and put it in as part of the uh, Jenkins uh, continuous integration job okay so again just to brush up so we have downloaded all the required jar files and uh, installation files and we have uh, constructed the JUnit framework we built automation test suits using selenium and we have integrated to continuous integration system and we generated test results and did an analysis and the, on the tests okay thank you